Sometimes we may need to call any specific function or a feature file n number of times. It might be a part of data setup or any prerequisite for an API to be tested. For an example, we have an API get book details and here I can pass multiple query params. But to test this API, we need to have some books in database. So my get API can fetch that. So to data setup, we may need to call create API multiple times. So in this video, we are going to learn how can we call any specific function or a feature file multiple times in Creative Framework. I am Amud and welcome to my YouTube channel, Retarget Common. So let's start with basics. So I'm going to create a very simple JavaScript function which will return any hard-coded value. We use star def data gen use the function keyword. It will simply return a hard-coded value, maybe correct itself. Now I want to call this JavaScript function five times or ten times. So for that we have a method provided by Karate, which is called repeat. So from where this repeat method is coming? So the Karate framework provides an object that is built-in object called Karate itself, and this Karate object consist of multiple methods like karate.award, append, append to etc. We are going to see some of these methods in upcoming videos. But today we are going to discuss one important method of this karate object called repeat. This karate.repeat method takes two arguments. First one count how many times you want to call and then we have a function. So let's use it. So use karate.repeat repeat first argument will be number of times so let me pass 5 and here i need to pass the function name which is data gen and created or repeat method is going to return me an array because this repeat will call this function five times and this function data gen is returning Karate. So it will return every time. So we are going to have five values. So karate or repeat will return a JSON array with all those five values. So let me store return values of karate or repeat into a variable, maybe data, and I am going to print this data here. Let me run this scenario. So after execution, you can see it is returning a JSON array where we have karate five times. Here we have JavaScript function without any argument. Let's try to pass any argument here like a and I'm going to append a with my karate word. Since this is expecting an argument, so I am passing one argument here. Let me pass the. Let me run this scenario. So now you can see it is giving you an error like not a JS function and it is saying that the karate. So actually when we are passing the to call this data generator method, it is calling this function and it is returning the plus karate, the karate. And karate dot repeat is expecting the output of this method should be a JavaScript function so that karate dot repeat can execute it for the first example. So that time we were just passing the name like data gen. Here I am not using parentheses here. That means we are not actually calling the function. Karate dot repeat will call that function. Now let's run this scenario without passing any argument and see what is the output. So in the output you can see karate word is appended with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So actually by default it keeps a track of index and if you want to use that index then you can pass any argument here and you can use it here if you want to write some logic based on the index. But if you have a function with arguments and you want to pass those arguments with the karate or repeat, that is not possible. So here we have actually JavaScript function. Let me try karate or repeat with a Java function. So we have already some utils like random data generator. I want to generate some random names multiple times. So I'm going to call this function in my karate dot repeat. Let's see what happens. So before calling this method, I need to call this Java class in my feature file. For that, we need to use java.type. So let me use java.type and here I need to pass the full path. So random data generator class is present in this package and pass the class name as well. Since we have all the methods as static, so no need to create any object of this class. So let me store into a variable. Let me copy these two statements and paste below instead of data gen i will call java utils dot this method name 
get random full name and here we need to use parenthesis now let me run this only difference here here i am calling some javascript function but here i am trying to call it java function in karate or repeat i am going to run this scenario it says that not a js function so the problem with karate or repeat method is that it can call multiple times only a javascript function we need to create a wrapper means create a javascript function and call java function within that javascript function and we know that how to call a javascript function multiple time using the karate or repeat so let me show you an example so i am going to duplicate this scenario so this line will be as it is but i am going to create a javascript function and here instead of returning this hard code value i am going to call java function inside my javascript function and now i am going to call data gen in my karate dot repeat let me done this scenario now this time you can see it is printing five random full names so in these examples i am calling some java or javascript functions but we may need to call any feature file also n number of times so when we say calling a feature file n number of times you might think of data driven scenarios that is one option we have already but we can use karate dot repeat as well but sometimes karate dot repeat will only help because in the data driven approach you may need to pass number of rows there but sometimes you don't know how many times you need to call a feature file sometimes you may need to call five times sometimes you may need to call 10 times so in that case karate dot repeat will help so let me show you how can we call a feature file for n times using karate dot repeat i will choose any existing feature file so we have one callable one dot feature file in our project this feature file is calling one api to generate the token so i am going to call this feature file in my karate dot repeat method so we already know that karate dot repeat will only call javascript functions it cannot directly call any other things so let me duplicate this scenario so we need to call the feature file in my javascript function then we need to pass that javascript function to my karate dot repeat method to call a feature file inside a feature file we use call read but since i need to call the feature file inside a function so i need to use another method provided by karate object that is called karate dot call that means keep the return keyword and use karate dot call and here we need to pass the path of the feature file which i want to call so both are in the same directory so i can directly call callable one dot feature let me run this scenario if you see the logs you can see this api to generate the token has been called five times but i am more interested in the value of this data variable so let me go down and copy the data value so if you see here it is returning one json array and it should have five json objects because we called that feature file five times so here are five json objects for each run it will return me response headers response body everything right we already know this concept from my previous videos where i explained how to call a feature file inside another feature file and here you can apply the json path and you can extract any data so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video If you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone